I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. All right. These people might need more help than I do. There's um, <laughs> blood everywhere. This doesn't look too good. Oh, look at the bowl of fruit. What a fascinating bowl of fruit. It's fake. Damn. Oh, well, that's fucking gay, isn't it? Oh, coloring book. Unicorns! Unicorns for the win! Huh. Pool of blood. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Oh, shit! Uh. Well. Now I'm more fucked up. I didn't expect that to happen. Alright. Let's just have a look around here. Oh, water. Water. Give me water. I hope that wasn't contaminated. What's this? What's that beeping? It sounds like an answering machine. Oh, sweet, a walkie talkie. Well, that could be useful. Very, very useful. Let's see what else is in these drawers. I'll check that one. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. What the hell are those? Were they bullets or something? Okay. There are mm. three new messages. Mm. The Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Hmm. So where's the babysitter then? Oh shit, pull blood, walk around it. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Yeah, this isn't good. Maybe right, there's something on there. Alright, let's just... Use the answer machine. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. That doesn't sound Thanks good. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Clementine? Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Shit. Clementine must be the little girl, I'm assuming. Well, that's Daddy? just. Oh, shit. Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where the hell is she? Uh, where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Okay. Are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They ah, can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, she's a smart girl. <laughs> Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, shit! Ah, get the fuck off me, you crazy bitch! Q, 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 Q! Q! Hey, hey, where's he? There it is. Oh, you dumbass, Lee. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, that was lucky. Oh, god damn it. Get off! Help me, Clementine, help me! Help me, Clementine! I'm about to get my face munched. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. E. God. 
Grab it. Grab the hammer. Grab the hammer. Grab the hammer. Bash her face in. Beat her up. Get her. Mash her face in. She dead? Oh, that's fucking disgusting. Man. That was fucked. Did you kill it? Yeah. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yes, we do. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's do that. Let's go. Stay close to me. Smart idea. Let's get the fuck out of here. Because this seems terribly bad. So where are we going? Alright, I guess we're going this way. She She's just piss bolting for it. Just go this way. And can you make it down the stairs, bro, with your bum leg? Alright, sweet. Oh, shit. Right, let's go this way. Is there anything around here? Open the gate. Uh, okay. There's people there. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> it's hot dish night. Alright, let's just go and open the gate, I guess. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's yes. That's a good idea. We'll do that. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. He seems nice. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just, just some guy. Yep, just some, some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. Alright, let's push the damn motherfucking car. Go push, damn it. Push. Gotta get this out of the way, cause we're gonna get this sh Oh my god, come on. Push again! Hey Clementine, get in on it, help us, help us! Alright, let's get in the truck, get in the truck, get in the truck. Oh shit! Well that was just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Thank you. How very nice you are, Sean. That music's kind of weird. Sounds weird as hell.
Hmm. It seems really nice and dark. Oh yeah boy, I wonder whose farm this is. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thanks, Chet. You seem like a nice man. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without <laughs> Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Yeah, Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? She's not oh, my daughter. Not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Please say yes. Yes. Oh, thank God. <sighs> okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. It's Fighting fucked. You out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Awesome. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. Can what did you imagine? say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Yeah, he's my main man. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Oh. Nowhere. I didn't mean to click we that. Get a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. Yes, he I'm was an great. awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Awesome. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, yes. Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. Seems very necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Exactly. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I watched a man let himself get run over without blinking an eye. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Exactly. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Yes, really. we can. I already said okay. God, stop pestering well, your I'm father, all done Sean. Here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. Funny man. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Awesome. Oh, he was it. nice. Just gotta have a nice sleep in the barn.